I used to be a musician. I used to pay a lot of attention to the musical industry. I liked insider stuff. Um, when I was younger, what was popular was gangster rap. And, and mm. in America, 50 Cent was the biggest guy. So he had this crew called the G Unit, the G Unit, uh, G Unit, like like a Suicide Squad, just G Unit, or like Madonna, just Madonna. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, he's like, yeah, my first album is one of his one of his posse members. Like, oh, yeah, my first album flopped. Then the second album, we realized we had to get the women. So we put a whole bunch of R and B slow. We got the women. You get the women. You get the men. So this is like black guy hood logic that scales all the way up to like the the top levels of civilization. If you want to build something or you want to destroy it, you need to go for the women first. Uh, and I think that's what the the crux of this trans thing is. Because, I mean, look, let's be honest. You, you make 30% of men some combination of queer, gender affirming, gender questioning, whatever. Evolutionarily, from a reproductive point of view, probably not going to move the needle very much. But if you can cripple 10, 15% of your female population, uh, I mean, you're talking about wrecking people forever. So to your questions, like, have they won? Do the left know, you know are, is the left right? Do they know what's really going on? I think they have unprecedented power, pharmaceutical, technological power. And I think you have an unprecedented will to hurt people with that mm. power. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the other thing I would say that's in this book uh, this has taken me my whole life to really kind of come to this position on, but I do believe in a metaphysical evil. I think it's um, not necessarily apart from from uh, from the good. I think they're probably kind of swimming in the same pool. But what is being done here is is specifically political evil, and I define evil in in with really one one trait. Uh, I define it in this book as you know the desire to turn something against itself basically subversion that to me is kind of like if we could knuckle evil down to one thing it would be to get you to be something antithetical to what you are or other than you are basically to stop you from being you uh and as far as we're seeing with the trans thing i mean they are they've they've taken they've got now got two generations of women conservatively mm -hmm. on this kind of what's the word I'm looking for on this much more refined transhumanist regimen. Um, and, and that's troublesome, but as far as, uh, are the left, right? Is it all over? Uh, game over, man, game over. I don't, I'm not a fatalist. I'm not a nihilist. Um, the, one of the theoretical linchpins of this book is a gentleman, uh, a Polish psychiatrist named uh, Andrzej Lobachewski, who his whole theory of kind of like political, revolution was that <laughs> in only so many words um you know the good men strong times meme like you get shit people at the top eventually the people at the bottom get fed up with it and then heads start to roll and then you start all over again um i think we're getting we're, we're approaching a heads rolling phase so i'm actually very optimistic about our future even our near future but there's mm -hmm. we we have to we have to recognize the extent to which they've they've managed to deliver some some very devastating blows uh, during you know the, the the bout that we're in now. But I don't think it's forever. I don't even think. I mean, ten years from now, I don't think we'll be talking about this stuff anymore. Yeah. Be, before I uh, show you this picture of Madonna, there was one other thing I wanted to ask you about before we uh, hit the super chats as well, which is that um, one of the things that has always stuck with me from. Uncle Ted, as he's known, uh, you know, uh, Kaczynski. Um, you know, I, I always thought that the much more, in, like, yeah, technology, uh, you know, I thought his his analysis of the left was probably the best thing in that. Um, and one of the things that always struck me is that he, he made this differentiation between two different types of leftists, right? One was basically what you described at the at the start of this stream, which is, I mean, I, how did he call it? He called it feelings of inferiority, right? And you called it self disgust, but but it amounts to the an identification, I think, of this of the same sort of thing, right? Um, I I always remember this passage here. He says leftists tend to hate anything that has an image of being strong, good, and successful. They hate America. They hate Western civilization. They hate white males. They hate rationality. 
The reasons the leftists give for hitting the West clearly do not correspond to, the, to their real motives. They say they hit the West because it is warlike, imperialistic, sexist, ethnocentric, and so forth. But, there, um, but where these same faults appear in socialist countries or in primitive cultures, the leftist finds excuses for them, or at best he grudgingly admits that they exist, whereas he enthusiastically points out and greatly exaggerates these faults where they appear in Western civilizations. Thus, it is clear that, that these faults are not the leftist real motives for hating America and the West. He hates America and the West because they are strong and successful. Words like self-confidence, self-reliance, initiative, enterprise, optimism, etc. play little role in the liberal and leftist vocabulary. The leftist is anti-individualistic, pro-collectivistic. He wants society to solve everyone's problems for them, satisfy everyone's needs for them, take care of them. He is not the sort of person who has an inner sense of confidence in his ability to solve his own problems and to satisfy his own needs. The leftist is antagonistic to the concept of competition because deep inside he feels like a loser. I, and essentially what you're saying is that the the regime has found a way of manufacturing more of these people, right? Because I, I seem to remember in, in uh, Kaczynski's analysis, he basically said like most leftists aren't like this. He he said most people are of the of the over socialized sort, right? The the people who sniff the wind and who know to say the right thing for a career promotion or something like that. Um, and that, and that this this first group is actually you know a much smaller core, you know, kind of spiteful mutants, I, I guess, as a as a Ed, Ed Dutton would call them. Um, but if I understand you correctly, Josh, you're saying that they found a way of producing more of these because effectively, you know, once you get beyond all the all the gender ideology and stuff, these young people, these transgenders, as they're called, are actually like deeply disturbed people who have no self-confidence, who are, you know, they suffer with depression. They, you know, they have to take all sorts of pills that, you know, they're a mess uh, you know, they're not productive. Uh, you know, they they need help, basically. 